all right so i am back with part two i did switch locations just to switch it up a little bit but <laughs> um let's get into it this will be brands e through h so <clears throat> first up is Ascada magnetism and this is one that I honestly don't wear too often. I used to wear it a lot when I was younger. I've been through multiple bottles of this and then I just purchased this again probably about six months ago uh, for nostalgic reasons. But I have to tell the truth and tell you I haven't really worn it much since I got it. But this is like a fruity, sweet, but green scent. Um, it's really nice, but like I said, I probably have only worn it once since I repurchased it. So don't really have many thoughts about it except that it does have sentimental value for me. So next up is Fragrenza and I have like 10 or 12 from this brand so I'm gonna try to be quick. But this first one is Amarana Cherry. This is supposed to be a dupe for Lost Cherry. Not my fave um, to be completely honest, but it is a nice cherry scent, but I don't think that it smells exactly like Lost Cherry. Um, but this was sent to me by the brand. Actually, no, I purchased this one. I take that back. So this next one is Caramel Rossi. I think that's how you pronounce it, but this is supposed to be a dupe of Baccarat Rouge 540. And it is very similar. I don't think it's the same. I feel like BR 540, there are so many dupes out there, but there's something special about the original. So this one is close, um, but it's not exactly the same. Next up is the first one that I got from this brand, and this is Limon e Vaniglia. This is supposed to be a dupe for Zerjoff Lyra. It's a beautiful, like, lemon cookie type scent. Um, it has a little bit of death to it, like a, maybe like a boozy vanilla to it as well. And this is just so good, y'all. This was the one that made me want to purchase more from the brand, and I love this one still. It's probably my favorite one. This next one actually should have been the first from this brand, but my little stash here got out of order. But this is Adesso. This is one of their original creations, and this one is really, really nice. It is sweet and spicy. I believe it has tobacco and like maple syrup, if I remember correctly. It's really good and yummy and definitely unique in my opinion. So um, this is one of my favorites from the brand. All right, the next one is a Melipona, and this one is supposed to be a combination of YSL Black Opium and La Vie Belle from Lancome and I do like this one I don't wear it very much but it does smell like those two fragrances mixed I do wish it had more of the coffee note that you get in Black Opium but it's it's pretty good I don't really reach for it very often though. Next up is one of my top favorites from this brand and this is Ocean. This is a dupe for Parfums de Marley Ocean. I've never smelled that one, but this one smells absolutely delicious. It reminds me of like a apple pie baking. Um, it's spicy and sweet. And if you like Killian's Angel Share, you will like this one as well. You definitely smell the cinnamon in this. Um, as well so definitely recommend this one this next one is called oud rosso my label is messed up but this one smells really good it is a dupe of mfk oud satin mood and it does feel smell very similar now i do think oud satin mood is a bit smoother and smells more high quality but this one is a very like close dupe of it in my opinion so i really like this one don't wear it enough <laughs> but it is really good the next one is Rivalair, and this is one of their uh, original creations. But this one is really nice and refreshing. It kind of reminds me of like a mint tea iced tea. Um, so it has a citrus note to it, mint to it, and some herbal notes in it as well. It's just very like refreshing and light, but still very present if that makes sense. Um, yeah. And this last one from the brand is Venice Seduction. This is another one of their original creations. And this one is spicy and kind of sweet, um, but not overly sweet. I believe it has like dried fruits and it has like cardamom in it and some other spices in it and definitely some tobacco as well. So this one is really nice as well. I just sniffed it and I haven't worn this in a while so I feel like I need to wear this. This video, these like collection videos are helping me like rediscover my collection. 
So the next brand is Federico Mahora, and these are, this is basically just a clone house. So this is number 438 Pure Parfum, and this is a dupe for Mugler Aura. I've never smelled that, but this one is really nice. It's a vanilla with some greenness to it. Um, I don't wear it that much, but I do like to wear it, especially to bed. It's soothing to me, um, and it's, it's really nice. I'm not sure how close it is to Aura, though. And then the second one I have from Federico Mahora is Pure Royal 910. And this one is a dupe of Baccarat Rouge 540. Again, this was sent to me, but it is actually very close to Baccarat Rouge 540. Um, I don't use it very much. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you may know that I own 540 extra. I do not own the EDP. This is supposed to be a dupe of the EDP. And I just feel like, I don't know, like, I'm not really checking for any of the dupes of 540 anymore. So I don't really wear this very much. Um, I kind of think like the dupe houses need to just stop making dupes of 540. Like, please stop it. <laughs> so the next brand that I have is Gallagher Parfums. I only have one from the brand right now. Well, I actually have another one that you'll see in a haul, but <laughs> this video is going up and then I'll do the haul that will kind of update y'all. But this is Rose All Day. This is a beautiful, sweet, uh, look, the notes are right there on there. Apple crisp, plum, dark rose, bark, oh no, dark rose, brown sugar, taco bean, and stainless steel. Sorry, I'm trying to read it like through the monitor. So. <laughs> Um, but this is just a really nice, like, sweet gourmand scent. It is very strong, and it does have that metallic note to it, so it's not going to be for everybody, but if you like it, it's, it's delicious. So that's Rosé all day. So the next brand, I have quite a few from. I think I have about seven or eight, um, but this is from Ganache Parfums. And this is an indie house. I do plan on doing a full dedicated video to this brand. So I'm going to try to be quick on all of these. Um, but stay tuned for that video because I will be giving you more in-depth look at um, the fragrances that I own from the brand. But the first one is 100% Pure Love. And this one is chocolate and I believe raspberry. So yes, chocolate and raspberry. It's kind of boozy. It's very sweet and it does project very well. So this one's really good. I did feature it in my chocolate video, my battle of the chocolates video, and I will link that below. Make sure y'all check it out. Next up is cozy and this one smells like some sort of cookie to me. <laughs> it smells like caramel and like butter cookies. Um, this one is really nice. I wear this to bed quite often. Um, I do think it's kind of similar to some of the other scents I have from the brand, but it is a really nice one. Next up is Cuddle, and this one is like honey and apricot and possibly osmanthus. It was kind of a, and peach, I believe, maybe. Um, my notes may not be correct. I'm not looking at notes. This is just what I'm feeling from this. So, um, this kind of reminds me of like peach gummy rings. Um, they're, it's sweet, but at the same time, it doesn't smell exactly like peach gummy rings but that's what it reminds me of it's peach gummy rings with some other stuff going on in the background but this is really nice one as well um and again i've been wearing this one to bed a lot i didn't say it before but ganache parfums are all about the gourmands pretty much all of the fragrances are gourmands or at least probably 80 percent of them so um this next one is called iced coffee i bought this because i was on the hunt for a coffee scent and this fit the bill it is coffee but it doesn't smell like just coffee beans it smells like a sweetened coffee without smelling like a latte <laughs> that makes sense so if you've been looking for a coffee scent that smells definitely like coffee but not like so strong like you just stepped out of like roasting coffee beans then this one is a really nice one next one is Leche y Galletas. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but when I first opened this on camera, I told you guys that it kind of smelled like cookies and milk or whipped cream. And somebody told me in the comments that that's what this translates to, and like cookies and milk, I believe, or milk and cookies actually. And that's what it smells like, um, like cookies and milk. <laughs> It's really good though. It's sweet. It's very scrumptious and another good bedtime scent for me. I wear this during the day as well, um, but I like wearing really sweet stuff like this to bedtime or to bed a lot. Next up is Lemon Cream. I believe this was my first one from the brand. I actually ended up purchasing this from somebody on Mercari, but this is what told me that I needed to check them out more. Um, this is a really nice lemon 
like pastry type scent. So if you guys remember, I used to have Zara Sweet Pastry in Paris. I sold that because this one is kind of similar, but it smells much more high quality in my opinion. Um, and it has a little bit more depth to it. So that lemon cookie or lemon meringue type scent um, is lemon cream. This next one is called Stung. And this one, in my opinion, is not really a gourmand. It is definitely based around honey and beeswax, I think. But this is actually kind of animalic on me. I'm not sure how I feel about this one. I definitely think this is not for everybody. It's a little bit sweet, but it's actually pretty heavy and musky. Um, I do like it, but I feel like, I don't know, I have to play around with this one some more because I've only worn it like one time and when I wore it, I felt like it was a bit too much. So I probably have to be light handed with something like this. And then the last one for ganache for right now is warmth. I will go ahead and let you guys know that I did make an order. They were having a clearance sale. Um, I haven't gotten it yet, but I did make an order from them. So when you see my ganache video, it would include more than these fragrances. But the last one that I have today is called warmth. And this one smells like an almond type cookie. So definitely almond centered. Um, but also you can definitely smell the pastriness in this. So this kind of reminds me of the cookies and milk one, except this one has some more almond to it. So that's called warmth. So the next house that I have is Giorgio Armani. And this first one from Giorgio Armani is new to me. And this is called My Way. It's actually a new release, but this is a nice like everyday type scent, definitely based around like orange blossom and ginger. And it's just a very pretty scent, but there's something different. There's a lot of orange blossom scents out there. There's something different about this one um, that I actually really like. And I think this is great for day-to-day -day use year round. Next up is Armani C, the classic, and I don't even know if I need to describe this one, but it is like a spicy oriental vanilla. Um, very good. I used to think this was heavy, but now I feel like it's a great daytime scent, especially for like work or corporate environments, but it's also slightly like sexy too. So I really like C. I don't wear it that much anymore, but it is definitely one that I think is a, still a very nice and pretty and sexy scent. Also from the C line, I have C Fiore, which um, I bought this because of Takara Thompson here on YouTube. She described it as smelling like, I think like Hubble Bubble Bubble Gum. And that is kind of what it smells like to me too. It's like that powdery bubble gum that you used to eat back in the day with some floral touches to it. Um, this is actually a really pretty scent and I do like it for day-to-day -day use, but also when I'm just feeling very like pretty and elegant. So that is C Fiori. The next house that I have is Gucci. So I only have two Gucci fragrances. This first one is Memoir d'Un Odor. This is a chamomile and jasmine scent. It is very different and not for everybody, but it's one that I happen to really like. It's very calming in my opinion, and it definitely is herbal. So um, like I said, not everyone's gonna like this, but I definitely think you should smell it if you ever see it um, in store. Next up is Gucci Rush, which I bought for nostalgic reasons. <laughs> Um, but this is Gucci Rush. This has been out for ages and I believe this is like peach and patchouli if I remember correctly. It's not one that I have really worn since I purchased it, but I need to. It's kind of like a fruity, like a fruity patchouli scent. So yeah, that's Gucci Rush. The next house that I have is Guerlain. So the first one that I have here from Guerlain is Coconut Fizz, and this is like a summertime staple, but I actually think it works year round. Um, this smells like coconut water. So it definitely smells like coconut, but it smells very like natural coconut, um, coconut water. It's a watery scent, but it actually lasts pretty well for the Aqua Allegoria line. And it's, yeah, it's just really nice and very refreshing definite staple for the summer like i said but i think you can wear it year round next up is another one from the aqua allegoria line and this is ginger picante i love this one it is a spicy fizzy ginger candy type scent so it's not like super sweet like a gourmand but it is slightly sweet and it's definitely spicy and i just think it's done very very well i haven't smelled another scent that's like this so if you like ginger i would highly recommend ginger picante Next up is Guerlain Gourmand Coquine. I actually just talked about this in my chocolate video, but this fragrance is just beautiful. It's sweet, it is alluring, it is kind of soft and just really very well blended. And it's 
raspberry and chocolate. So check out my chocolate video if you wanna know more about it. Next up is Guerlain Insolence, and this is a violet um, scent. But to me, when I smell this, it smells very powdery and clean and babyish, um, like lavender. Even though I know it's not lavender in there, it reminds me of those lavender type scents that you use on babies, like those baby lotions. And I just find this one very comforting. I don't wear it very often, but I do like to wear it to bed. It just makes me feel like it's time to go to sleep now. Next up is Guerlain La Petite Robe Noir. I believe this is the original. I think it's the EDP. Yes, this is the EDP. And this is all about the cherry and the almond. And um, it has a little bit of fizziness to it, but not like cherry Coke. So if you like cherry scents, but you don't like when it goes to that soda um, type cherry, then you may like this one. I don't wear it a lot, but it does smell really good. And I noticed when I did a previous video that smelling this, not on the skin i don't smell as much cherry but when i spray this on my skin cherry is a dominating note next one is another one from the aqua allegoria line and this is limon verde and this one to me smells like a caprina <clears throat> it definitely has like lemon or lime and um like cane sugar not regular sugar like sugar cane <laughs> that's what this smells like to me it's really nice but it is very very fleeting and I honestly just usually spray this on around the house. Next up from Guerlain is Mon Guerlain. And this one is a staple for me. It is lavender and vanilla and it's done in a very pretty way. Um, this is like a feminine twist on lavender and I love it. This, this to me is like the quintessential mom scent. And I don't mean that in a bad way because obviously I'm a mom and I feel like this is just quintessential mom scent it's great like if you're looking for a gift to buy somebody i feel like mon Guerlain works for so many people but it's not like your standard generic perfume smell and then the last one i have from Guerlain is another from the aqua allegoria line this is tea azura this is based off the scent of tea it is very refreshing and bright and nice fragrance to work out in um, but I don't go overboard if I'm wearing this to work out because it can get to be too much. But in general, if you spray this like a normal person, <laughs> it's a nice like workout refreshing scent. So hopefully the lighting didn't change too much. My battery cut off as per usual. <laughs> but this is the last fragrance that we're going to be talking about in this video. And this is from Hane Mori. This is Butterfly. This is the EDT. This is an oldie but a goodie. Now I never had this like way back in the day. I know a lot of people wore this like when they were teenagers. Not me. <laughs> so I don't have the nostalgic feeling from it. But I actually just genuinely like the scent. It is uh, fruity and woody, and I believe it's more so strawberry and blackberry, if I'm remembering correctly. A musky strawberry scent and maybe some other fruits like blackberry or possibly like um, black currant, and then definitely some wood woody notes as well. But I really like it. I think it's really pretty, and I think it's fun. It's kind of tart and sweet, so I really like that about it. So... So that will end out part two of my fragrance collection. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos so far. I will be back with the next portion, uh, part three. Please make sure that you are subscribed with your bells on so that you get notified when part three is live. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.